Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you some of the other rank functions uh, that are available. So in the previous video I have shown you how you can apply a simple rank function and then how you can sort it to get the desired output. Now in the next, in this video what I have is a simple table. Again if you see it is a subcategory and a copy of sales is a column name which I have given and what I've done is I've just customized this so that uh, it is a duplicate value because it it happens many times in a real scenario that you have duplicate uh, values or the same values for two different dimension values and in that case it is important to understand how each of the tab view rank function is behaving in that case all right so what I'll do is I will simply copy this all right and I will come to tab view I will remove this and uh, entire thing and just paste it over here now this this table is here which for which I have simply the value and this and if I want uh, let's say rank I can create a rank um, need to create a rank function from here uh, create calculated field which is a rank and it is rank sum of sales copy apply okay and if i just go here all right it has some issue maybe parenthesis at the end yeah now it should be okay so if i want i will just go ahead and paste it over here now if i want to sort like we did it in the previous video that's how we have sorted all right so we know this thing and uh, right now as you can see after one two three 4 is given to this, 4 is given to table. Similarly, book, for bookcases, 8, copy 8 because both are having the same values. Alright, now let's go ahead and see some of the other rank functions. So, now let's take rank dense. And uh, we have rank and we have dense. Within the rank dense, we will say some of... Uh, you know sales copy and click apply and okay and if i just go ahead and put it here here also if you see first second third fourth and fourth right third fourth five six seven right so what it has done if you see over here so first second third and then fourth and then fourth and then here in a normal rank function what you are getting is five or oh, sorry six because four five is what it has considered over here but by default it is giving you the six but in case of a rank dance it is basically checking after the four you need to get five so if that is what your requirement is then you need to use rank dance similarly come here as six and then seven and then seven and then eight but here it is 8 8 and after that you have 10 and 9 is missing so if you have this kind of a requirement where you want to get uh, s as the function of the name of the function suggests that uh, you want to go into a dense uh, ranking then this is how you need to do it so that's that's a quick way to see what the difference is now let's create another one um, rank uh, modified maybe um, and uh, what we will say rank modified and sum of uh, sales copy apply ok and I will just put it rank modified over here so now what it is doing is one two three so what it has done is uh, it has taken the largest number which is five in this case five five six seven and then 8 is missing and 9, 9. So whatever is the latest um, ranking is and if it is duplicated, this is what it has taken over here. So if this is what your requirement is that you want, what is my latest number or latest ranking number should be given to my values, then you need to use the rank modified. And then finally, let's see the rank unique. Create calculated field rank q underscore it should be underscore and 
rank underscore unique and I will simply again say sum of sales copy click apply ok and come over here and now what I have is rank unique over here so I will just go and say fit width all right so rank unique and what we are getting as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that, that by which you can clearly see that uh, whatever is coming first, it is giving the rank accordingly and not duplicating the rank like rank tense, rank modified or rank along the table. So if that is what your requirement is, then you can use the rank unique, which by the name it suggests that it will give the unique rank to each of the um, value, this subcategory. Let's, let me go back and uh, see if I have left with anything else in terms of rank. So I have rank tens, modified percentile. All right, let's let's do this also. What it does is it returns the percentile uh, compared to each of the row. So I'll show you in a minute. Uh, or what I can do is I will simply say rank. When I come over here, it gives the definition. Returns the returns the percentile rank for the current partition row like you have normally the percentile so i will say sum of sales copy apply ok um, rank underscore per and uh, where i am here so now you see one 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 and zero 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 it's mainly because it needs to be in a decimal format to have in a decimal format let's come here and uh, format number standard all right now what you have is 193.75 87.5 so if this is what your requirement is to get the ranking in a percentile kind of a format that's your way to do it so here i have covered all of your rank related uh, functions and uh, maybe in the next upcoming videos i will talk more about the different ways in which it is difficult to get the rank but uh, we'll see some solutions around it so that's pretty much it i have for you and i will meet you in the new video the new topic